I follow conservative Republicans. I need you to do something extraordinarily, extraordinary. In November, I need you to vote for the Democratic candidate for president and Democratic candidates in your state and Democratic candidates on the federal level. I need you to only vote for moderate or liberal Democrats or moderate and liberal Republicans. And I need you to do it to improve your life in every single way. And I'm going to give you a little gift. You've been told, we've all been told, the great lies over the last, who knows, 100 years. There's a lot of things we can't afford as a nation. We can't afford universal education. We can't afford universal health care. We can't afford to pay a living wage. And the list goes on. We are in, our economy is, is weak. It may not be in recession at the current time I shoot this in February 2016. But our economy is still weak. The economies of the globes still weak. You see all of that from both parties and any so-called economists around the globe and all that. I hate to tell you, and I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but it's all deception. It's all lies. It's lies, I tell you. But do I have to back it up? Well, every now and then, so-called mainstream media screws up in their efforts to tell the truth. Well, not, let me preface it, to get ratings and bring the news, every now and then, they let slip the truth. They may not even recognize it as a huge deal. They let slip recently that the banks had made $34, $34 billion just, just this year, just, well, actually 2015, just from bank fees, like your ATM fees and all that jazz, $34 billion. A few years ago, they let slip that while our country supposedly is in debt, and we have, what is it, a $16 trillion deficit or whatever, the government, while all that is going on, and corporations are downsizing and claiming poverty, well, they let slip, accidentally, I guess, the corporations are holding nine trillion dollars and that was a couple years ago nine trillion dollars in surplus that means corporations collectively have nine trillion dollars in their banks or financial institutions does that sound like we're broke no and then we have on the news almost every day we have a global financial crisis and you see wall street go up and down well, I'm here to tell you, all of that is an illusion. I'm not saying people don't actually lose money. I'm not saying that a lot of people don't lose their jobs. But I am saying that every government on this earth, or a lot of them, and every corporation, or a lot of them, an industry, is actually conspiring to brainwash you. And politicians of both parties, and of all stripes, moderates, liberals, you name it. Artists, liberals, conservatives. So here's the thing. If corporations have $9 trillion in surplus, and if the global economy is in crisis, does anybody ever stop to ask a simple question that you would think a little child could come up with the answer? How can... The global economy be losing 
the currency of any nation. How can the global economy be losing money physically? How can it be losing gold, diamonds, whatever currency? And the answer is, it's not. A child could figure that out. But we've become so accustomed to the lies, not me, but a lot of us, that we buy into it. Now, what that really means is that the wealthiest people on the globe is hoarding the gold, hoarding the currency. The wealthiest people in corporations. Now you might say, well, what's the end game? Well, the end game is very simple. To keep the majority of the 7 billion people in servitude, in slavery. That's why. Because if they do that, they have more money to waste and do whatever they want with. We are the pawns that they don't care about on the chessboard. Now, you might think that everything I said doesn't make any sense and it may take you a while to digest a lot of the videos that I do. But let me warn you about something. When I make predictions and when I make statements, I am not a psychic, believe me. I'm not Nostradamus or whatever his name was. But I do know what I'm talking about because years ago, way before it actually became a reality, the, con the economists and all the experts weren't saying a dang thing. I predicted $3 or more gasoline and then I predicted $4. Everybody said, there's no way. In America, it's never going to be $3. It's never going to be $4. I was right. No, I'm not trying to say that I told you so, because that's not it. What I am trying to say is that if you will listen to myself and those of us who will tell you the truth at great professional and personal risk, whether we look like we're mentally ill, because I'm not, where we have no teeth or our hair is balding. If you will just listen and act accordingly, you will end up in a much better mental state, financial situation, and overall life. As far as the moral issues, God will make the decision on that. We can't. We don't have a right to. And he who is without sin cast the first stone. 